Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan of Sakura Brony, welcome you back to Let's Play Daydreaming Derpy! Uh... Hi? Yeah, this pony looks strangely familiar. I see. Ah. Yeah, I mean, even though we technically have Timberwolves around Ponyville, they're not really a problem very often. At least, unless you, you know, go actually go out into the forest. Which, most ponies don't. Ponos? Hey? Why did you suddenly change into that, but yeah, one other thing about the Crusaders is that each of them gets a unique uniform, which I technically have already said before. I've already bought this one for Derpy to also use, but I haven't actually made use of it yet. Partly because I discovered the absurdly stupid power of the Pony Tones and the construction worker, so <laughs> yeah. That's why you ch okay. Anyway, hey, Dinky. Uh, well, I didn't mean to do that. I want to talk to you first. I haven't. Uh, anywho. And yeah, if we want to go back, we just talk to that little whirlwind, or whirlpool-looking thing on the wall there. And otherwise, we have our... Oh yeah, I just remembered the other skill that she learns at the next level, I believe. She gets... Oh, what was it called? Now, Good Sass, <laughs> which is completely unique to Apple Bloom, as far as I'm aware. I don't think any other uniform or character can get it. It basically just heals any status effects. Not that that really matters, but... Otherwise, for this particular area, there's two ways you can go about it. One is to equip the Flim Flam on Apple Bloom there. You see I have 202 bits, because I usually like to have about 200 bits every time I, uh... Or before I go into a particular dream, just in case I want to use the... Uh, what is it? The... Uh, handout ability to get the greedy status and all that. Which, by the way, now that we are our Magician's Assistant level 4, this also naturally has Handout and also Gamble, which I don't care about. This is all the abilities that this will ever have, though, of course, uh, you can get plenty of power out of its freaking <laughs> luck stat there, because, yeah, every, I kind of misspoke there. Every 10 luck gets about 50 more points of damage from the party cannon there, so yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there's basically two ways you can go about it. One is to do what I'm doing here, where I'm giving... Some massive power to the construction worker and Apple Bloom, otherwise, I'm just gonna kind of well, stay a little safe with the hospital stamp there. Oh, now let's get some HP back, shall we? Nope, nope, no. You don't even really need the Manhattan stamp for this, but anyway, well, besides the gold that's lying around. Okay. Yeah, five bits, what we do. We can't read this sign for some reason. I kind of feel like we should be able to, but you'll see this. Well, it looks sort of like a pile of sticks or leaves or something that says dig. <laughs> These are enemies! Specifically, timber wolves and timber wolf pups, although they are pretty small. These enemies are actually kind of annoying because they have a fairly high amount of HP and they can all heal. So, yeah. So, what I like to do is just, well, bat. Well, actually, I'm gonna hit the timber wolf pup because I tend to heal the Timberwolf first, which has a lot more HP than the pups. So I'm gonna do that, get handout on Derpy there. Yeah, see, for some reason, 
some reason they usually prioritize doing that. Now, with my current setup, uh, Apple Bloom can take out the Timberwolf Pup. Uh, or one hit from Derpy, one hit from Apple Bloom can take out the... Oh, that one was also... Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Can take out a Pup there, but I'm just not very fortunate right now. Anywho... That's all you really need to do there. They're easy enough. They're actually pretty annoying if you don't use Greedy just because they can heal. So, yeah. And they don't come back and you always get a Zap Apple, which is not a, a uh, item you can normally use. It's actually a, uh, well, necessary to complete this area. There's a total of eight, eight of those, well, bundles of sticks or whatever, Timberwolves around here, and eight Zap Apples, but we only need four to actually progress with this area. However, there's still another use for the other remaining four Zap Apples, but for that we need to actually, well, collect the ones we need. So the other way we can go about this... Let's see, I want to equip the Star Swirl and Tortoise Stamp and give you the uh, Wonderbolt Stamp to boost your speed a little bit, because I want to take your uniform off now to get a little bit more attack power there, just for the heck of it. It's not really that important, honestly. I could really for either way. And I wanna now I wanna now use my other level four uniform, the Wonderbolt Tam. Which now at level four has Sonic Rain Boom, which does stun the user, but we can circumvent that with a tortoise stamp. And also one other stamp that we can get here, as it happens. The only as far as I'm aware, the only stamp we can't buy is here in this particular dream. But yeah, this does about 80 points of damage to all enemies, uh, pretty much no matter what. I, I it believe it's based on intelligence, but the, this uniform doesn't get much higher intelligence than what it currently has, so... Oh, maybe I should, like, heal up or something. That is one thing you probably will want to do if you are using this strategy, <laughs> perhaps. So, anywho... Let's dig in! And, oh, we just got pops only. Well, this should be easy. Sonic, rain, boom, and pop. Okay, not quite 80 yet. We're almost there, though. Oh, they will heal. Oh, well. Whatever. Jerk! Okay, you know what? I could also... Oh, good. Now we got good sass. There, there we go. I also could use that ability twice. Or Zap Apple there, because since I don't have to worry about being stunned and all that. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, status effects only. So yeah, this this and Apple Pie are completely unique to Apple Bloom. Actually, does this do one or all characters? I think it's only one. Let me find out real quick. I'm not even sure. Yeah, with the big one there, I definitely want to do two Sonic Rain Booms, but... Yeah, it is only single target. Oh, not quite enough damage there. Ow! There we go. Jerk. Apple Bloom is hurting, but yeah, that's the other way you can go about it. You don't want to spend a bunch of money there, so... But I'm actually perfectly fine doing it the other way, especially since Apple Bloom has a little bit more survivability the other way. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take out that last, uh, what was the other one I wanted? The top roll stamp there. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and, there we go, I want the main hat stamp. Yeah, go ahead and finish off that last, uh, Timberwolf over there and I'll be right back. Oh, Derpy's at level 5 now. Sweet! Yeah, got our last Zap Apple there, so anyway, yeah, we also have this big old apple here. Yeah. Yeah, it's blocking the way, though. Can't do much with that, so... Now that we're at level 5, let's see, is... Yeah, the Ponytone should have its last ability, which is Beatbox. Not that I really care, but I think this is basically just something better you can use against random encounter monsters compared to this, which... Well, you know, just percentage-based damage, so... Yeah, there's... Er, no, I don't want to become the Pony Tones. Not yet, sorry. Actually, I don't really need to do it at all here, really. This place isn't that difficult. 
Having all this free healing is actually pretty darn cheap. Just another <laughs> reason why this is so freaking easy. And I just realized I'm actually saving in the wrong spot there. I should be I shouldn't be saving over that just in case this recording goes badly. But anyway, we got uh, some more or three more here, as well as some money. <laughs> Five bits. Anyway, yeah, I'll take out these uh, timber bowls real quick and be right back again. <laughs> Holy crud! God, I love the critical hits of that of this freaking thing. Oh, that was level four, so yeah, that was powering up quickly there. So yeah, not quite done yet there, but uh, where is it? Yeah, six sap apples so far. What was I just going to say? I was going to say something, but now because of the level up, I forgot what it was. Oh, right, that's right, uh, with the, regarding the stamps there, you, like I said before, you don't have to use the Manhattan stamp, it'll just kind of require you to focus all, uh, both of Derpy's hits and Apollo's hits on, like, one of the pups, for example, so, yeah, that's all that really does. They're worth a lot of experience points, but, unfortunately, they don't respawn, and yeah, because of the logs, we can't really go very far around here. And one more Timberwolf here. Alrighty, got my eight zap apples, I believe. Yep. Awesome. Hey. Is someone singing the theme song again? You do? Oh. He looks kind of short for a big Macintosh. <laughs> she just goes right along with it. that. Princess Mac is gone, so... Okay... <laughs> Anywho, moving on from here, I would like to heal a little bit there. And I need to change up my badges, just... or er, badges, stamps! <laughs> just slightly, I'm actually going to just change up this one for the Crystal Princess stamp. And just stick with the construction worker for now, because why not? And also, I should stay in the right spot. No, it's kind of late now. Because the other thing we can do with those app apples, kind of surprised you can't do anything with the apples there on the side, is come over here to the pond. Yeah, let's go in for some reason. And yeah, we're down here and... Yeah, there'd be Wiccans about or something. And we can offer our zap apples. YOLO! For... Flutterbat? Otherwise known as Really Peeved Fluttershy. Who is actually, well, kind of a... Not really a super boss, per se, but more difficult than your usual boss. At least than the bosses in the main three areas here, for the most part. But that's why I've got my, uh... 
construction worker out there, because I got the limestone splash. And I've also got... Yeah, I want to get a uh, handout on it. Because this does absurd damage. I'm actually going to use the construction worker instead of my uh, pony tones, just because the construction worker can do a slight bit more damage just due to the nature of the physical attack versus the pony tones kind of low magic attack otherwise. So now I can just double limestone splash this thing. That extra gravity-ish type damage is something like one-sixth of their HP <laughs> if I've got it down correctly. So anyway, I... Well, I could hand out an Apple Bloom. I guess I might as well, just in case any healing or something. But, yeah, the other thing that... The only thing that really makes Flutterbat particularly dangerous is that she can cast Greedy on herself. Oh, of course, I confused her, and yeah, she's done. Okay, well, anywho, um... I, let's just auctioneer her, because why the heck not? <laughs> Maybe I'll get more confusion on her. Or I could just kill her soon. Okay. Maybe it's more. I don't know what the percentage is then. I was... Wow, she looks angry. So peeved. But, uh, yeah. And as you can see, I'm healing more than I... Well, actually, not more than I'm... <laughs> I've got, especially using that twice and all that, but... You should be dead now. There we go. So much damage! God, that's abusive. I really should ban that or something, but nah, it's too late now. Uh, let me guess. Yeah, that, sad, actually, that is what I was going to guess for the first time I saw that, because <laughs> I am familiar with Castlevania, despite the fact that I don't play it much. That actually is one of only two Castlevania games I've played. <laughs> And for our efforts, we get the kind of awesome, but also kind of unnecessary Shadow Bolt Stamp. Basically, it's a flat-out upgrade to the Wonder Bolt Stamp, as, as it were. Which, uh, with this stamp, yeah, it gives us the 5 Agility, it also gives us 5 Luck, which goes really well for the, uh, what is it, Magician's Assist. And Resist Stun, which means we can use it in lieu of the Tortoise Stamp for the Wonder Bolt uh, Stamp. And always attack first. So basically a priority attack, although it's actually not quite as awesome as it sounds. As far as I've been able to tell, it only works with the bop command. So, yeah, there's that. So it's a good way to keep, keep slower characters up, you know, I don't know, doing something. But, well, and see, here we got Typo. Should we go back into the ponds? Or is this actually... I guess we're not supposed to be underwater, are we? We kind of went into the... Okay, never mind. I, it's not a typo. I get it now. I was kind of thinking we were, like, underwater or something, but... No, I guess we kind of just swam through the pond to the other side. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Jeez. Only took me, what, like three playthroughs. So, anyway. I'm just going to... I didn't equip that stamp, did I? Okay, good. I'm still the same. I'm just going to keep this a as it is. Actually, no. No, I'm not. What am I doing? I want to change up my stamps. I forgot I don't want to stay with this. <laughs> I almost forgot my own strategy here, so... Okay, now I'm ready, because I'm back in my Wonderbolt temp form with the, well, badges you've seen before. Star Swirl and Tortoise Stamp, or you could also use that new uh, Shadow Bolt Stamp, but it's kind of unnecessary, considering how fast I am already. And I don't think luck has anything to do with critical hit rays. Not that you can do much with that with magic anyway. And Apple Bloom has the Sun Princess stamp just kind of because it gives her a little bit more power there. So, yay. I mean, technically I would be a little bit stronger with the Crusader there. I mean, slightly. But, yeah, because of the way of the amount of strength you get for level up for these two, this one catches up real fast. So it's just kind of flat out better there. I'd rather just keep Apple Bloom like this, even though she does have at least a healing ability attached to her other one, but that's really more in case of emergencies right now, so... Now we got our Paris Sprites in a bottle. I guess we... well, they kind of let them out, but we still have the Paris Sprites in a bottle. Yeah, we get to keep all of our items, unfortunately. And... Gee, that was totally unexpected, wasn't it? Yeah, not Big Mac, but Little Mac, because he's actually a little shorter than Apple Bloom here. Because it's supposed to be young Big Mac. Oh, 
I wonder how old she's supposed to be at this point in his life. Eh, close enough. Mm. You do? What's the significance of the tree there? Oh. I kind of get the feeling you were too young to even leave the house at this point, but... You know, on your own, that is. Oh. I see. Reminds me of Goldie Delicious's story about her dog. They are? Huh. No wonder they're in such abundance, and, well, they're kind of difficult to destroy since <laughs> they're sort of magic and animal put together, as it were. Yeah, they're kind of already here, Mac. Intosh. Is that a pun, Derpy? Oh, what, the tree? <laughs> but I might need my brown pants now. <laughs> and yeah, we get to fight the Timber Wolf, which has way less HP than the Fluttershy. It only does, I think, that ability with the construction worker of the limestone splash and the other one with pony tones. I think they only it does like upwards of 70 ish to 80 ish points of damage total. <laughs> so, anyway, I actually want to use the Sonic Rain Boom because it wouldn't do much damage to those other two timber wolves there. So, let's see, let's get a uh, hand down on Derpy there. So, I can take those two abs. They're just going to keep on healing the. Uh, the big one there, otherwise. Let's see, get a hand out an apple bloom. Just get the or something. And I can do some pretty massive... Ooh, ouch. Pretty massive damage like this overall, but yeah. Hmm. Do I want to use a brand muffin? Not yet, not yet. We're good, we're good for now. So... Okay, not a whole lot else we can do there. So I'll just... Ow. Yeah, you're not strong enough to stop this. Oh, I can only use this one more time? Drat. Well, I could use an item, but... Actually, I could just change the uniforms now to the construction worker. And come up like that without bothering with the, uh... Oh. Never mind. Forget I said that. Yep, we kicked his cranky doodle. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it's the old Apple family stubbornness, that's what it is. That episode came out just in time, didn't it? Because I'm pretty... I think this game has been in the making for a while, so... But then again, I guess they didn't really need to have that episode to have that lore in there, did they? Yeah, kind of either way here. Yeah, it was basically like right after you were born. We still don't know exactly what happened, but I get the feeling that particular detail is never going to be quite known. At least in show, anyway. What? I ain't Applejack. Oh. <laughs> yep. Also, if we come back over here uh, later on, uh, we'll still see the other Big Mac here. But if we talk to him, it'll turn into this. 
But we can't leave the area if it's all shiny and bright like this. We have to turn it back to sadness and desolation if we want to leave. Wow, that's sad. Especially if her parents... Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> that's really sad. Anyway, that's it for that dream, but I don't need to take my stamp back from Apple Bloom because we're not quite done with her yet as we move on to a rather interesting dream next time on Let's Play Daydreaming Derby. Arrivederci!